were you the first Filipino to be hired? No, hindi. <laughs> the reason why I ask this question, because I get asked this a lot, and I think we need to address this, like, elephant in the room. When you applied for that international school, I'm sure you applied to other international schools. Did you ever face like um, discrimination or because you're Filipino, you're non-native English speaker? Uh... Hey guys, it's Candy in the land of sushi. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I had the privilege to interview two of my friends who are both English teachers here in Japan. One is an ALT who works for the JET program and the other one is an international school teacher. The reason why I interviewed them is because I want to know their thoughts about teaching English in Japan as a non-native speaker and I also want to know their struggles and successes as an English teacher here in Japan. In the video, for the most part, we spoke in Filipino. So for those of you who do not speak the language and who do not understand Filipino, please turn on the subtitles to get a grasp of what we discussed in this video. I'm sure you applied to other international schools before. Mm -mm -mm. Um, did you ever face like um, discrimination or because you're Filipino, you're not native English speaker. I cannot speak for all the schools. Ang dami din namang uh, international schools na discriminating sa mga non-native English speakers. Pero the reason why hindi ako nagtagal sa isang international school ko, I was a teacher assistant. Lahat ng Pinoy doon, teacher assistant lang. Or hindi ka pwedeng maging main teacher. Just because Kasi you're not Filipino. Mm. Dahil ambisyoso ang lola mo, kinausap ko ang headmaster ng school. Actually, yung mga TA doon, masters pa nga sa home country nila or talagang licensed teacher dapat kasi sa international school, mahigpit sila sa ganun. So, sabi ko, meron ba ako kailangan gawin para maging... <laughs> mag <-a> main teacher. <laughs> kasi as you see, yung mga teacher assistant naman are qualified teachers. Ang sabi niya sa akin is, yeah, you are qualified teacher by chance. Grabe. Sabi ko, ano yung by chance na yun? Explain mo sa akin. <laughs> sabi niya, unfortunately, sabi niya, we're still not heading that way. Yung school kasi na yun, 90% ng teachers nila are British. Talaga nagsusource sila from um, from UK. So, sinasabi niya sa akin is, walang chance na, na magiging mga teacher ng mga Filipino. Uh, kasi adami, medyo madami-daming TA na Filipino dun eh. So, from there, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry to cut you, but at least that school still hire Filipino teachers. Pero, yes, they still hire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because mm -hmm. I know there are lots of international schools in Tokyo na narinig ko lang to ah. I don't know if it's true but if they see your resume your Asian your resume mm. will get into the bin as in totoo, the totoo. Yeah. hindi yan okay totoo yan so I, I heard uh, some horror stories like that which is actually kahit ALT yung city next to me yung BOE next to me hindi sila gahar ng Filipino hindi sila gahar ng Asians sa akin lang din naman no uh, gusto ko sana ng improve yung resume ko luckily yung school ko ngayon I didn't have to go through the whole process kasi sila yung kumontak sa akin nung nag-apply ako sa Board of Education sa sa same city kasi yon tinray kong magpasa both ng resume tapos hindi nila ako tinawagan tapos after three years pag talaga para sa yon ibibigay talaga sa yon ng Lord Nga, for I know the plans I have for you. November, ako nakipag-usap dun sa una kong international school na headmaster. So, nag-isip na ako kasi naimbiyan na nga ako. December, I received a call. Ang tumawag sa akin, yung mismong may-ari ng school. Wow! Um, hindi ko siya maintindihan ako sa Japanese yung sinasabi niya. Pero alam ko na it, it's from that school. Dahil same city nga, meron ako mga kakilala na yung mga anak nila nag-aaral dun sa school na yon So, yung mga Japanese friends ko sabi ko, kilala mo ba itong si ano? Kasi naka-receive ako ng call pero hindi ko alam kung ano yung sinasabi niya sa akin. Sabi niya, gusto mo, tawagan ko siya, tapos mag-meeting tayo. So, yung isang parent do, tinawagan niya nga yung may-ari ng school, yung Kocho Sensei namin, tapos nag-set up siya ng meeting. Pagkadating ko lang, sabi niya, oh, sige, mag-start ka na January, gusto mo ba? Magkaroon yung sweldo mo ngayon. Wow, okay. ayos. <laughs> so, hindi na ako bumalik ng January, nag-file na ako resignation. Here comes January, nag-start na ako ng work, so I didn't really do a lot. It was really for you. So, I, I think so. Kasi nga, kaya ako nag-international school is for Vito, para sa anak ko, di ba? Yung una kong international school is primary school lang sila. Pag nakatapos siya ng grade 6, isipin ko pa ulit paano pag junior high school. Eto okay. school ko ngayon, merong primary school, junior high school, and high school. O, di ba? Oh, Bong. complete so, na. Nag-turn na talaga ako. Talagang, <laughs> dito na talaga ako. Yun. <laughs> What about you, Sir Irwin? Di pa naman siguro ikaw nakapag-job hunting, no? 
Wala yeah, ka. hindi pa. So, I'm learning from you guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Sa Ayan, akin naman. Ma, babalikan kita, ha? Oh, sure. <laughs> Sa akin naman, um, I've tried applying direct hire and wala naman akong struggle dun. I was offered the job, tinanggihan ko kasi I wasn't ready to move. And then, recently lang, I, I actually applied for an international school. And mm. I got the job. Kaso mm. lang, when I weighed things, parang mas happy pa rin ako sa job ko ngayon. Kasi, yun nga, alam ko, when I move, um, much of my time, my precious time, will be devoted to teaching na. And I don't think I'm ready mm. for that yet. Gusto ko din mag-move actually sa Tokyo or sa bigger city. Um, I tried sending my resume to a lot of schools, but I was mm. never invited for um, an interview. I don't know if it's because they're not open to hiring, you know. It's not for you, Carla. It's, it's not, not for you. Me. Yeah. When it's it for you, it will find its way to you. Promise. Trust me on this. Or I'm Promise. also thinking, because I'm, mm-hmm. I'm also thinking, because I think they'll prioritize those who are in the area before mm-hmm. they open up to, because I'm from, mm-hmm. I'm coming from, I'll be, you know, mm-hmm. I have to move and siguro ayaw nila yung stress na maglilipat pa yung teacher, ganun. So, maybe, naisip ko din yun. Kasi sa lahat naman ng nasendan ko dito within Nagano, na-invite naman ako for an interview. Question? So, yes, go ahead. Uh, sa, sa school magpapadala or parang sa BOE? Directly sa school or sa BOE ba? Ah, okay. Good question. Sa direct hire, nakita ko siya sa website ng city. Mm. City website. So, sa pag sa city. Sa ah, so website okay. na city talaga. Oo, mm-hmm. kasi nag-upload sila ng mga ano doon, mga job postings. Job postings. Oo, so mm-hmm. isa-send mo sa email na nakalagay doon. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sa kapag nagpa-plan kang mag-BOE, ano, feeling ko lang ah, magandang hint para ipakilala mo yung sarili mo is, kahit na nakita, may idea ka na dun sa posting nila online, directly call the BOE. Ah, I'm planning to ganito. My name is ganyan-ganyan. Kasi makakalala ka nila. Ah, okay. Oo, ganyan. Kahit sa, ano, parang, I just, I just want to inform you that I sent my application. I'm interested. Kaya mm-hmm. tatanungin nila yung pangalan mo. Isusulat nila, di ba? Yung mga Japanese, isusulat yeah, nila yung yeah. pangalan mo. Magka, maaalala, ah, ikaw yung tumawag. Mag-interview mo na, ah, ikaw yung tumawag. So, parang, oh, okay. wala lang. Ay, That's a good thing. Mga, mga konti-konti discard, eh. <laughs> Did you face any struggles? What about Sir Irwin? Uh, did I experience discrimination? Yeah. yeah. As a jet, uh, Filipino jet. Sa application, actually, wala naman. And during my time, noong 2018, kami yung pinakamalaking batch na kinuwa ng jet noong time na yun. Kasi parang the year before, na 16 lang. Tapos kami 50 na. So parang... Oh, ang dami! 50! Yeah. Oo, 50 na kami ng batch ko. So, siguro nakita na nila yung ano, potential ng mga Filipino ALTs for the jet program. So, wala akong nag- na-encounter na problem during the application. Tapos, mm-hmm. pagdating ko naman dito, sobrang siguro lucky lang na I thought nga na parang hindi ako papaniwalaan ng mga Japanese teacher kasi dahil Filipino ALT ako or Asian, yeah. hindi ako native speaker. Mm-hmm. Pero siguro dahil na rin inestablish ko pagdating ko dito, inestablish ko na English teacher ako for more than a decade sa Pilipinas. Medyo mm-hmm. nakagain ako ng respect kay actually yeah, English ko. That's from, true. from the Japanese teachers. May, pag, may mga tanong din sa akin yung mga Japanese teachers. I make it a point na pagka nag-respond ako sa kanila, hindi ko lang sasabihin na it doesn't sound good eh, or it sounds unnatural. I may be sure na i-explain ko kung anong rule or anong reason behind bakit kanito dapat yung English or hindi. And siguro yun yung na-appreciate nila dahil nga siguro kami from a teacher, alam ko kung paano siya dapat ituro or paano siya dapat i-explain. So with that, siguro somehow di ko naramdaman yung pagkakaroon ng discrimination as a Filipino. But to be fair, yung mga Japanese teachers, mas gusto nila yung mga Pinoy. They are more comfortable Because yung uh, accent natin and the Totoo. way we speak English is very neutral. Mas madali nilang maintindihan. Physically, we're not, we're not too intimidating for them. Hindi uh, in a negative way, pero para sa kanila is mas relatable tayo sa kanila because they know that we also learned the language. In some way, parang alam nila na nakaka-relate din tayo sa kanila. So, sa lahat ng Japanese teachers na nakausap ko, mas gusto nila yung mga Filipino because mas naiintindihan at mas charming tayo sa kanila. Wow, charming. 
<laughs> Totoo. Actually, meron akong ano, meron akong isang experience. Itong isang school dito sa amin, okay sa English, yung mga bata nila. So, hiniram nila ako as an ALT. So, tapos ang daming observers from the whole Kyoto picture na nood ng mga demo classes. May isang Japanese na lumapit sa akin and she told me, yung students daw, they seem to respond better sa akin. Ang reply ko sa kanya ay, siguro because nasabi ko sa mga bata na just like them, I learned English. Exactly. And, mm-hmm. di ba, alam ko kung ano yung struggle na pinagdadaanan nila. Mm-hmm. Then, siguro, isama mo na rin yung teaching experience. So, mm-hmm. hindi naman, na- na-appreciate nila yung mga ganun. Mm-hmm. And actually, sa JET program kasi, hindi naman lahat teachers, pero marami ang nag- merong teaching background. Well, for me naman, more of like a struggle to stand out or like, mm-hmm. because we blend in. Because we're Asian. So, napansin ko lang din on my second year of teaching here. Kasi, di ba rotation kami? So, Mm-mm. susunod sa akin kasi American. Tapos, pinakilala ko siya sa principal bago siya mag-start the following day. Mm-hmm. Parang napansin ko lang na parang mas interested yung principal. Parang mas welcome niya. Kasi yun siya tinanong, Oh, you're, where are you from? I'm from America. Oh, where in America? Do you play baseball? Ganito, ganyan. Pero sa akin... When I was there on my first day, parang, <laughs> ah, you're from the Philippines. Ah, uh, okay. Yun lang. And then, I got a lot of people do you play Chinese garter? <laughs> <laughs> Wala. Walang further questions. So, parang, I don't know, parang, di sila interested masyado sa akin. And even sa students din, like, kunwari may mag-observe, mag-observe yung head teacher na British. Kung ako lang, masaya sila. Pero if there's another like native teacher in the room parang mas napapansin lang sila than mm. I don't baka know baka naman it's the other way around too baka din if the native speaker is their teacher tapos ikaw naman yung nag-observe baka din di ba interested din sila sa'yo kasi ikaw yung bago sa kanila na-recall ko lang like last year sa isang school ko kasi I have four schools di ba and I work with another Filipino ALT. So, kasi mm-hmm. kami, di ba? So, ako yung nauna sa school na yun. Mm-hmm. But we've been teaching in that school for like four years na. Mm-hmm. But natanong niya, parang sabi niya, why do you have different accent from this ALT na Pinoy din? Ay, nako. Okay. Ay, ako mm-hmm. parang, sabi ko, I don't mm-hmm. know. Um, why does it bother you? Sabi niya, wala naman. Natanong niya lang. So, sabi ko, uh, okay. Having like different accent, you know, it's beautiful. I just felt uncomfortable mm-hmm. that time. So, hindi naman yung discrimination, but I just felt uncomfortable. So, parang mm-hmm. sa particular pala sila sa accent. Kasi hindi ko yun na-realize. And Ang mga hapon, very technical sila. Kahit sa ang bagay. Oh. Very, mas particular sila sa grammar kaysa sa atin. Pero ano lang, speaking of accents, kasi di ba minsan nang hapon, dito sa akin, experience ko na yung mga JT ko minsan, nalilito sila kung ang gagamitin ba English or British accent. Mm-hmm. Tapos, kasi di ba minsan, iba rin yung minsan, iba rin yung kasi yung pagkakasabi. So, sabi ko, why don't you use Filipino accent? Yeah. So, <laughs> so so maraming mga words ngayon kapag kahirap sila, syempre pag yung kasi iba yung tuwang nila, 'di ba? So kapag uh, mahirap ibigkas, uh, Filipino accent ang ginagamit ko. Na uh, okay okay naman sa kanila kasi iintindihan nila. Okay. So, but for the jet pala, wala lang standard because with my company, dispatch company kailangan American accent yung ginagamit pag mm. school. Yun yung mm. policy sa amin. Ano siya? In black and white? Mm. Yeah. American mm, accent. Talaga? To teach American accent. About... Wala naman sa jet. I don't remember anything na naka black and white na you have to, you need to have like American accent or British accent. Nagkakatalo lang kami minsan ng mga JTE ko kasi minsan merong yung CD, di ba? Yung minsan yung lessons may kasamang CD, di ba? Yeah. Mm. Tapos minsan yung ginagamit yung sa CD halo. Halong American, halong British. Yeah. So, nalilito minsan din. Maski ako minsan nalilito. Ano ba talagang gusto natin gamitin? <laughs> What about... Or di ba yun nga yung purpose ng ALT? A- ng ALT is for the kids to... To know the different... To expose themselves to different, you know, English. Yeah. Uh, you know, accent-wise and everything. Yun right? nga yung question ko. But... but pinanong sa akin yun, noon nung isang JTE. Ako bored sa party. Wala lang siguro siyang ma- <laughs> siguro kasi ano yun. Wala kaming pasok noon. Yun yung mga times na walang student. So siguro. Oh. Pero kung ano ba yung job sa school mm. mo? Do you have like an English standard? or Wala naman. Me- medyo ano lang ako. Ako mismo yung critical sa sarili ko. Nanggagaya lang ako sa kanila. <laughs> Although, it's fun din to learn from other people, especially our colleagues, right? So, may mga expressions, may mga 
accent and pronunciation na medyo interesting that you would learn from them. Pero wala naman kami policy o wala namang order sa amin na you have to follow this certain accent or this certain English. Ganun. Uh, yun lang din yung maganda kapag sa international school, hindi masyadong particular na dapat ganito yung ituro mo sa mga bata. You're a one-man show, so ikaw bahala. Basta gawin mo yung naayon sa curriculum mo. Do you have, do you have an assistant sa room? Job? Wala. Wala. Actually, I think very, very few lang sa, sa Japan, yung international school na may assistant. School ko before, parang yun lang yung narinig so far ha, uh, na may assistant. Mataas din yung standard ng school na yun. So, yun. How many students? I wish I have an assistant. Hmm? How many students do you teach? <gasps> I have 32. Ah. <laughs> Second grade. 32. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sige, going back to the discrimination. What about outside work? Ngayon pa lang, no? I'm very happy na ngayon nakaka, nagkaka-develop na tayo ng image na ang Filipinos are English teachers. Pero meron pa rin stereotyping sa mga Pinay somehow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about Actually, Mr. Irwin? Kasi as a male Filipino... Actually, ang swerte ko kasi wala pa ako na experience sa discrimination dito. And ayun na nga, siguro to ang tawa sila na makakita ng male Filipino person, not even teacher eh, person dito sa area ko sa Kitango kasi nga puro Pinay ang nandito. Pero you look Japanese to teacher, Mac. <laughs> Talaga ba? Oh. <laughs> form na lang siguro. So, kasi maski yung mga Pinay, na-excite din sila na makita ako kasi nga parang ako lang yung unang male Filipino person dito. So, and then, ang nakakatawa pa siguro is yung when people learn about na, ah, you're from the Philippines, marami din silang mga, ano eh, alam about our country. Uh, so, nakaka- parang na-appreciate nila na hindi lang Americans yung nakikita nila or British. Kasi parang ngayon, parang oh, may something new. Uh, someone new pala in the community. So, mas naging curious sila. So, parang mas na-appreciate pa nga nila yung pagiging Pilipino. Kaya, I take advantage of that. Mm-hmm. Talagang sa mga lessons, I would incorporate sobrang Filipino stuff. Naka-feeling ko rin, sa personality mo, parang um, Japanese people or maybe yung mga ibang lahi would feel comfortable approaching you. Kasi you. parang hindi <laughs> mo yung, you know, like, uh-huh. meron kong, di ba, parang pagtilig naman parang so stiff. Mm-hmm. Parang ikaw is very approachable. So, I think kaya... Cute na cute sila sa'yo. Siguro. Feeling na siguro ako si Jollibee. <laughs> True. Pero ayun, swerte lang na wala kasi tapos siguro nakakatawa din na one time when I attended an English night. So, syempre, nandun yung mga ibang mga ibang ALTs tapos mga Japanese people who would like to practice speaking English. So, actually, naram- nakaramdam ako ng, ng interiority konti kasi sabi ko, ako ngayon neutral accent lang ako, di ba? Tapos lahat sila mga kakaiba yung accent. Pero, Natuwa ako that after the, parang bago nung mag na, may mga lamapit sa akin na, you know what, naintindihan talaga namin yung pagsasalita mo, sabi nila. We oh, understood every okay. word that we said. Yun nga, because of the neutral accent, mas easier for them to talk with us. Parang mm-hmm. Some people say that Filipino English teachers are better English teachers. Do you agree or disagree? Hey guys, it's me again. Thank you for watching the part two of this series. I'm not sure if I can call this a series, but yeah, it's a it's gonna be a three part video. Um, for the next part, for the third, and hopefully the final part we will be discussing what we consider as our successes as an English teacher here in Japan and we will also answer the question whether Filipino English teachers are better English teachers. So yeah, some more juicy stuff coming up so watch out for the part three. Again, I hope you like this video. Click the like button if you did. I now have a TikTok. It's at Candy in the Land of Sushi. Instagram at Candy Cab and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and click that bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. See you in my next video guys. Watch out for that. Thank you. Bye.